what's up dolls and welcome back to your channel or welcome if you are new here so today i'm back with another speed build another uh realm of magic builds and this time i am building a fortune tellers caravan uh, or just a caravan but specifically for a fortune teller in my mind and if you watch my previous realm of magic builds the one i uploaded excuse me motorcycle uh, the one I uploaded a couple of days ago, the Magic District build. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the upper right corner right now. Uh, but in that build, I did do a room for a fortune teller and I just really, really loved it. I love that room. And I told you guys that I really wish we had gotten a fortune teller career in this pack. And um, I don't know, it just kind of that room and... Just thinking about it, it kind of inspired me to do this build. I wanted, I felt like I wanted to dedicate a whole build to the sort of fortune teller theme. And um, that way, even if we can't actually be fortune tellers, we can always pretend right. Uh, so it, it is a theme I really wanted to do. And I decided to build a caravan because... In The Sims 3, we actually had fortune tellers. We had a fortune teller career and I loved it. And your Sims, like they all went to work at this super cool caravan out in the woods. And I remember I thought it was so awesome. So I wanted to build something like it, something like the caravan in The Sims 3, but in The Sims 4. So that's what I'm doing. This build is very inspired by that sims 3 caravan but i did change it up a little bit um like instead of that red and green color theme they had going on i went for a black and purple color theme because those are the colors that pop into my head when i think of fortune tellers i don't know why but i just think of purple mostly so i did change up the color theme a little bit and obviously the placement of the doors and stuff so it's, it's not like a replica i'm not doing a replica but it is heavily inspired by the sims 3 caravan and um, i'm of course building this in the new world in glimmerbrook and i absolutely like from the looks of it i absolutely love this world i think it's stunning it's beautiful i've always kind of wanted a sort of like mountainy foresty kind of world and we finally got it uh, so I, I love this world, but it is small <laughs> or it, the world itself is big, but we don't have that many lots. So um, I'm building this on a 20 by 30, which is kind of big for a such a small build like this. But because this world is so small, we don't have that many lots to choose from. So yeah, building this on a big lot and it's kind of weird, but it kind of works too. I'm going to place a lot of trees in the end, so... It looks a little bit better but yeah i just i just really wish we had more lots in this world because it's a beautiful world and um i'm pretty much done with the shape of the caravan right now as you can see it is tiny it's very small i think it is a seven by three uh so it is i would say it's pretty much a tiny house and i wanted to keep it small because it's a caravan. I wanted it to look legit, like it's actually a caravan and those are typically pretty small. So I think this is the perfect size for it. I think I got the right size. Uh, I did play around with the sizing a little bit before I recorded this to see what kind of worked or not. And this looked the best in my opinion. So it's a seven by three, I think again. And um, it does have a, um, bedroom of course and it does have a very small kitchen but it does have a kitchen and a little seating area and also inside there is a toilet and then outside on the back there's gonna be like th the shower is at the back so it doesn't really have like a bathroom but it does have a small little nook for a toilet pretty much and um i really tried to keep this as an actual starter so under 20k but i i could not do it uh, i was really close though i did it did end up costing 30k which isn't really that close or that far away i mean from 20k but um i think it could be easily made into a starter because like i used a lot of the new stuff like uh, from realm of magic i used the new stove and the fridge and the bed 
and I think those are pretty pricey. So if you want to make this an actual starter, maybe I can even do it. Uh, if you want it to be an actual starter that is under 20k, so you don't need to cheat or work up to save some money before you buy this, you could always like change the kitchen and I think that's gonna bump it down a lot. Uh, I'm not sure how much the stove is and the fridge, but I'm, I'm sure they're pretty pricey because they're these fancy things and even this bed, I think this bed is pretty pricey, so just change up the bed and the stove and the fridge and I think you're good to go. I think this is gonna be under 20k if you remove those. And uh, because I tried to make this a starter, I don't really like clutter up the interior too much. You will see that right now. Uh, I did decorate like the exterior, like the actual caravan, the outside of the caravan quite a lot because I thought that looked cute and was like relevant to the build. Uh, but for the interior, I like I really wanted this. this build makes sense as a starter because it's so small and all so i really wanted to keep the price down and have this be a starter so uh, i spent a lot of money doing the exterior work and all that uh, so for the interior i i try to keep the price down so i don't clutter this build up or anything even though i love to clutter my builds but i really wanted to keep the price down so this is gonna be an actual almost starter and i don't do them that much I don't do a lot of them so for once i'm doing a sort of starter and i'm proud of myself for keeping the price down for once uh because i, I mean it would have been really weird seeing this caravan be a hundred thousand simoleons like it doesn't make sense right uh even 30k is kind of pricey so for caravan so <laughs> i don't know that's my thought anyway with the price and the clutter and all that Anyway, guys, I really hope you all enjoy this build and can now live out your fortune teller dreams. And uh, I just really think they missed the chance on fortune tellers. I think they would have been perfect for this pack or in this pack. And now I don't think we're going to get them at all because in what other pack would they make sense? So a little bit disappointed because I really, really wanted fortune tellers and um, I really missed them from The Sims 3. Like they weren't that super thought out in The Sims 3 either, but like you had the career at least and I thought it was really cool and you could even be a scam artist, which is kind of hilarious. So I really think they missed out the chance to do something really cool with fortune tellers as well in this pack. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to pretend, but at least I can pretend right, so it's something. Anyway, I really loved this caravan, how it turned out, and I just think this build is so cute. I'm very happy with it, and I really hope you guys will like it too. And if you want to download this, it's going to be up on my gallery, as always, and you can find it by searching for my username, CyberdollYT, or you can find it under the hashtags CyberDoll and CyberdollYT. And remember to have the move objects cheat on before you place this, so things don't go, you know, flying all over the place as you place this. So I have that on me before you place it because I use that quite a lot. And uh, yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you did, please leave a big, big, this video a big, big thumbs up. And um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing also. I would be really happy if you do. And thank you guys so very much for watching. I love you all so very much. And I'll see you in my next video. Be alone. No, I would never be alone.